hit by a lucky lucky artillery shell got very lucky with my <laughs> with my uh very lucky with that one retreating Gren squad with the Shrek. Also got very lucky with my sniper. Actually ran it into my into Nystrom sniper. Revealed it. He wasn't paying attention though, and I managed to retreat after trying to shoot from blank from point blank range. Of course, that's not gonna go over very well. Finally have vet, vet three on my infantry. It was a little late, however, considering it is 30 minutes or so into this game, I have almost 500 fuel and I'm at 8 CPs. Really should have tried to get that Vet 3 a little earlier. Would have really improved the survivability of my Grenadiers, especially against this heavy rifleman army. And I do finally have access to the King Tiger. I am, however, going to have to wait for the 1000 manpower and another artillery barrage coming down. So I will be forced to mass retreat that blob which is a bad idea on my part to keep those units so close together never want to mass retreat anything you won't always want your units to be positioned in such a way that if you have to retreat you only have to retreat one at a time and you can micro away from the artillery with the rest of your squads in that case i couldn't do that because of how I had my squad's position. And now I'm waiting for his sniper to shoot so I can try to get a counter snipe. Of course, he is blocking the view of my sniper with the building, which is unfortunate for me, and I'm going to need to back that sniper up. Actually, no, I'm going to move him forward because I saw those... I think they're the charismatic engineers move out on the left-hand side. Probably going to try to capture something either the vp or he's actually trying to cap now he's going for the vp good thing i have an mg over there i'm also going to send a gren over in case he manages to do something funky and i have to re recap the point right now every second counts i have 125 vps my opponent with 467 and i miss him that time on retreat which is too bad i did manage to re force him force his sniper rather to retreat if you charge your opponent's sniper with a bunch of infantry and you have your sniper behind him you can many times reveal the sniper without your opponent realizing and pick him off fairly easily get a nice quick counter snipe going that way i didn't manage to that time because he was on the ball micro wise and he retreated nice and quick Sherman on the field now as well, so I'm going to be moving my, my pack up in support. I also have a number of Shreks and my King Tiger on the way. His Sherman, I don't even know how much else he has because he yeah, cover. And I think that was actually my own mortar shot. <laughs> aiming for the aiming for the Rangers. And drops a shell on Two of my grands, I think it was two of my grands at least. Might have been a grand and a... No, it was grands. Two grand squads took out four or five, and he says it was my nade. Okay, it was his grenade, never mind that. Still, I totally thought it was that sniper during the game, and I totally thought it was my... I mean, my mortar, rather, during the game, and I totally thought it was my mortar again right now, so maybe it really was, and Nice Room's just crazy, I don't know. Anyways, almost to the King Tiger. I have 830 manpower. He is, however, recapping the points on the right-hand side. And if you look at the mini-map right now, you'll see I have two idle squads on the left, the Fatherland and a Gren squad. That was a big mistake on my part. I was really paranoid that he would tried to ninja cap my VP on the left-hand side, so I kept squads over there just in case in order to keep him off that point and to make sure my VPs didn't tick, tick down too, too, excuse me, too, too fast. However, I really needed those, those two units, especially the Fatherland MG on the right hand side in order to secure this VP because right now he just has so many, so many rifle squads. Thanks in large part due to the fact that I haven't been able to counter the medic station he has set up on the road I do have my King Tiger on the field however right now so I will be trying to go on the offensive once again try to capture and hold the VPs on the right hand side some finally gonna be able to reinforce 
my grenadiers since I was saving up for the king tiger I'm also going to move my pack up as my king tiger hits the field nice room finally going to be alerted to this if he doesn't have AT guns on the field yet he will most certainly be mass producing them at this point as well as getting stickies AT guns combined with a couple sticky bombs really the best counter to a king tiger I'm going to be backing my King Tiger up in anticipation of that because I don't want him to get stickied because if he gets stickied he moves at an extremely slow pace and in addition he repairs extremely extremely slowly it takes pioneers forever to repair a King Tiger and you do not repair the damaged engine until the KT is repaired to full. I did not see smoke on that artillery barrage, but I did see a... Or I did hear, rather, the audio cue, so I retreated out of there. I did, however, I think I lost a full squad. My sniper's going to snipe his medic. My sniper has what? I think that's 15 kills, which is fairly... It's good for a sniper, considering he has a sniper on the field as well and has been trying to actively counter-snipe me at this point. I've kind of given up on trying to outright, outright counter snipe him, him and him, and am instead trying to use my sniper to soften up his forces, keep it alive, keep it behind my, my units so that I can drain a bit of manpower and use the advantage that my King Tiger affords affords me to hopefully push him back a little further than he is right now. VP is not ticking down for either side right now. Going to drop a firestorm in the middle of that big group of guys. Unfortunately, he had already picked up the 30 cal, so I'm probably not going to kill that. Actually, I might kill the 30 cal. Yes, I'm going to kill all of those. Big, big, big firestorm for me. Actually, no. The 30 cal doesn't want to die. Bad, bad. Bad accuracy by that firestorm. I think I got the AT gun. I can't remember. I didn't see it. We'll have to see if I pan over once more. I hope I did, though, because that would be really too bad if I didn't manage to do that. We are almost 40 minutes into this game right now, and I am finally, finally trying to push out. However, he did send a... Sherman to the left hand side forcing my fatherland to retreat I saw that and I got my squads out of there as fast as possible I also sent some Grens over to the left hand side to try to capture some of the munitions just to give me a bit more of a munitions income so I can use Firestorm a bit more frequently however he does have a lot of AT guns and a mortar round kills an entire bar rifle squad which is good for me because that's one less squad on the field for him and my grants get a bar sniper going to retreat right there forced retreat from the the rifles charging him and as you can see it is going to take me a couple of years probably to fully repair this king tiger i'm going to back him up so that he is just in range of the vp so if my opponent if nystrom tries to recap that vp he will be under fire from my King Tiger, of course. I'm going to build, if I didn't already build another Pioneer, I will be building another Pioneer in order to aid in repairing my my King Tiger. And I'm getting support vet level 1, which I don't know why I'm getting that. I think I was thinking I would be massing pioneers get vet 2 maybe even vet 3 and then charge in with massed flamers considering i have so many munitions however that really wasn't in the cards this game especially considering the number of shermans he has on the field and the difficulty it is going to be for me to break that with solely um infantry solely very low tier infantry in the pioneers as well. Almost man managed, sorry, to kill a Sherman. However, it's going back out, and I'm going to have to back that King Tiger up because it's under fire from AT guns. 
And now I am sending a lot of grins to the left hand side. Slightly exacerbating the problem I had earlier in the game and a lot of lag coming in right now. Some random lag spike. My computer decided to go to the bathroom for a minute or so. I think this happens actually once more in this video and then won't happen again. It was very strange. I actually thought I ran out of space on my hard drive. However, that was not the case. So, as I was saying, on the left-hand side, I now have three Grenadier squads and my Fatherland MG. This was a big, big mistake for me because it drastically reduced my fighting force on the right on the right front, which is where I needed to be focusing a lot of my energy because that's where the two VPs are. It's not where one sole VP is. And if you control the right-hand side, you control the majority of the VPs. It's a very crucial side of the map, especially late game and in this situation and lag still going on the the squads oh there we go all good now the squads on the left hand side because i left them over there i did i had a lot less i had far less fighting forces on the right and I don't actually think they do anything for a good portion of the match. They just kind of chill there, hang out, have a pizza, stuff like that. Chill with the overpowered level 5 Fatherland MG going, how do you run that fast? Like, I don't know, man. But King Tiger, if we can, if I select the King Tiger, we'll be able to see how many kills it has. It gets some ridiculous amount of kills by the end of this game. My sniper actually has 22 kills, which is pretty good. Considering he still, I think he still has a sniper on the field. And, oh no! Picked off by, I think it was an AT gun. It's either an AT gun or a Sherman. Probably an AT gun though. Because AT guns hate my snipers. Always seem to snipe them. Really, really, really annoying. I'm going to cloak that pack, and I'm going to move him away from the Fatherland MD MG. And the reason I'm doing this is because two weapons teams like that right beside each other is extremely tempting artillery food. The reason for this is with the pack up times of both those weapons, there's a pretty good chance that if you drop off-map artillery on it, it's not going to survive second leg spike right now i think it's actually the last one of the map match sorry i certainly hope so and yep this was fun the lag spike spike conveniently coincided with nystrom dr dropping off map artillery on the right hand vp i did not see it and i could not react in time meaning i lost i think i lost my hero mortar and oh no my sniper i might lose my sniper but i lost my mortar which was really too bad i think i'm gonna actually kill a sherman though i am gonna kill that sherman which is going to be a extremely extremely important victory for me as the game progresses and lag still going on a little bit what is going on there we go now it's good King Tiger. oh we clicked it i didn't see how many kills it had though 16 kill grenadier though that's pretty cool Anyways, we are now 43 minutes and 20 seconds into this game. I have 13 CPs and almost 800 fuel. If this doesn't prove how manpower intensive late game Vermont and even late game Americans can be, I do not know what does. Remember that, folks. Manpower far more important than fuel. People seem to think... Wehrmacht and Americans, they need fuel to survive. It's not the case. They need manpower. Fuel is nice to have for Wehrmacht. It's a lot nicer to have for Americans early game. It's a lot nicer to have for Wehrmacht late game. But if you don't have manpower, you can't do anything with that fuel. I'm now going to be sniping his AT gun with my sniper. Just going to try to thin his ranks a little bit. Reduce the damage output on my King Tiger hopefully let my king tiger do a bit more damage it now has 25 26 or is that 36 i think it's a 26 infantry kills 
And he is, however, recapping the right-hand side. I really needed to take care of